Hi friends, welcome all of you back to my YouTube channel. This is Switch World Tech Short Ampon. In this tutorial, I am going to show the process of sharing your QuickBook accounting company file over a Wi Fi network and how to work with your team. So, after watching and following this tutorial, you all will be able to share your company file over a network and work uh, very effectively with your team members uh, without getting and facing any of troubles or issues everything will be explained during this video so let's get start our video and see how we can do this please subscribe my youtube channel turn on notification net and join with me so guys if you want to share your quickbook company file or a network and work with your team you need to do this in the installation process of the quickbook software in your client pcs and also in your server pc so uh, in this case you need to select the second option i will be using quickbooks desktop on this computer and i will be shared uh, this company file over a network so you need to select this one in the every one of the client computers and also in the server computer without doing this you won't be able to effectively share this company file or a network so if you are unable to select these settings uh, during the installation process you need to uninstall properly the software from your computer and also from the client computers and reinstall using this uh, setting okay friends first of all you need to open uh, your security setting of the computer uh, here you can see i have opened my security settings from here or you can search and open your security settings like this so in my case i'm not using uh, any of uh, virus guards if you are using a virus guard it's your responsibility to turn off your firewall we can set up the firewall to uh, work with quickbook uh, but it's not very effective so that's why i'm going to turn off all of these firewalls you need to turn off domain network private network and public network firewall settings so guys here you can see i have successfully turned off uh, my firewalls domain network private and public you need to turn off these firewall settings uh, from the client pcs also not only on the server pc and also if you are using a virus card like avast or any other uh, you need to turn off all of these firewalls on the client and server pcs as the next step and uh, you need to go to the network settings now click on the network setting and you need to find advanced network setting here now find this advanced sharing settings option here you need to turn on all of these ticks like this and after that you need to turn on this public folder sharing option and you need to turn off this password protected sharing option then you can close all of these uh, apps now you need to open your control panel just go to network and internet then network sharing center here you can find your network adapter settings now select your network adapter in my case i am using wifi so you also need to uh, use wi-fi option go to properties now scroll down and find this uh, network protocol version 4 and go to properties here you need to select this first option obtain ip address automatically and select this dns automatically option also click ok now click on close let's uh, we try to connect our Wi-Fi you need to connect uh, all the PCs into the same Wi-Fi network using the server PC and the client PCs then you need to open your folders and go to this PC you need to find your local disk C where uh, you have installed your windows files now go to users in here you can find the public user just open 
here you need to create a folder now you need to paste your qb company file into this location ok guys here i have successfully pasted uh, my quickbook company file into this location it should be a qbw file you should be able to open this qb file by just clicking on it now click on company option go to users and here you need to set up uh, your users and uh, their roles ok guys here i have created two user accounts now i can close this uh, window after creating all the users and their roles of your company file we need to uh, create a shared folder of our server pc so to do that you need to click on the windows key and r key on your computer and then you can get this run command here you need to type cmd and open the cmd window uh, when you are going to connect into the server pc in every day you need to do this then you will be able to get a window like this here you need to type ip config it will show up some details like this and here you will be able to find the address of uh, your wi-fi lan adapter which means the ipv4 address so this is the address that you are going to use as the uh, shared location address of your server pc to login from the client pcs so before going to do that you need to open the folders of your computer and go to the public folder now right click on the uh, public folder and go to properties Now click on the sharing option and go to advanced sharing. Click on the permissions and you need to click add option. Here you need to type everyone. Click on check names. Then it will underline the word for everyone. Just click on OK then uh, go to this option and allow for all the permissions like this now click on apply and press ok button now click on the caching option and select the second option then press ok button then increase this number to 20 and click on apply press ok button go to sharing option click this button and select everyone click on add then uh, it will show this everyone option here now you need to give the read and write access to everyone user and click on share now click on change setting and click on done now you can close this as the next step you need to find and open your quickbook database server manager you can search and find it from here like this when it comes to here you need to click on the browse and select your public folder into this location then click on start scan and wait till completing of this process ok friends now we have successfully fixed our problem uh, but it shows as a network fail error uh, is ok you can just close this window now you need to uh, click on the windows key and r key to open this run uh, window then you need to enter backslash again backslash now you need to enter your IP address here where you can get from the server PC 
just click on enter here you can see i got a network issue because i didn't connect to the same wi-fi network so here you can see i can't connect to this folder i am getting an issue and i am going to fix that problem if you are getting this issue too you need to uh, do this also now select h key local machine then go to system and go to current control set here you can find services now you need to find landman workstation then go to parameters now right click on it go to new click on divert 32 bit value now change this name hello insecure guest auth you can copy this one from the video description now double click on it and uh, change the value to 1 then click on ok ok guys now we have added this key then we can close it now open your uh, run command once again now you need to enter the uh, IP address here which shows as the IPv4 address of your server PC then press enter it will normally open your uh, shared directory now you all can open your company file like this from your server PC and turn on the uh, multi use access here you can see I am already on the multi user mode but if you can't see this option on your computer uh, which means that your save PC is company file you uh, need to go to this file option and uh, click on this switch to uh, multi use option then you will be able to open your company file from the client PC also now I am going to open it so uh, we are getting an error on opening the company file now i am going to close this company file from the save pc and i am going to open it from the current pc if you are getting this error uh, also you need to do this because there are some uh, old laptops that doesn't allow you to open your company file from the current pc while you are uh, open that file from the save pc password and uh, username from your uh, client PC ok friends now we have successfully opened our company client from the uh, client PC but you can see we haven't turned on the multi user access yet so to turn on the multi user access you need to go to this files option and uh, click on this switch to multi user mode option so I can uh, open my uh, company file from the save PC right now let's see whether we are on the same company file go to users and uh, go to view users here you can see admin and user one is logged on let's go to users option from the uh, client PC also yeah you can see uh, we are on the same company file which means we were successfully able to share our company file over a Wi-Fi which allowing you to share and work with your team members let's see with the, how much of the users that can be connect to this company file you have user license up to 10 you can set up up to 10 PCs uh, to work on this company file so if you have followed this tutorial current without missing any of its steps you should be definitely be able to share your QB company file over the network. So with that, I'm going to wind up this video. Thank you all for watching this tutorial. Please subscribe my YouTube channel, turn on notification, and join with me.